Hello again, Pietrovich Pap here, one last place on the island, of course I always say that, is down here. We saw it on the end of the Mermaid Cove video. We were down here where we stopped and we could see a mermaid dance show. Just seems to want to get behind this post for me here. Let me uh, scoot out of the way. Anyway, there's a mermaid dance show there. But then, when you travel from one region to another, you leave little breadcrumbs, as I said. And that looks like an Egyptian build. Let's go see what that's about. These look like some kind of Egyptian crates of some type. And look what we've got ahead. An underwater Egyptian palace of some type. Of course, I'm being being uh, hyperbolic here, knowing what it is. This is Cleopatra's underwater palace. Now, again, I was watching a show and they found her palace. Um, it's the first one I saw. And then later they found, of course, whether Egypt was an international shipping port or not. And But they had a lot of earthquakes in the area. Uh, things sunk, and so did this one. And they put up what it looked like underwater. And I put those up on boards um, so I could actually build from the pictures. So this is a close rendition of what they believe was there. And I've got Cleopatra and a bust of hers. They had some other uh, things here. People asked me, well, what's this net for? Well, the people were fishing and got snagged on the old columns and broke off their nets. And so I tried to provide a historical point of view of a dance floor, a quiet little place here on my island, which is, of course, Cleopatra's underwater palace. If we get up here a little bit, we'll get some more chance to see other things up here. Sharks guarding it, turtles, Carrot Garibaldi, which are not typically tropical water by any means. They're salt water for sure. But this is Cleopatra's underwater palace, where, of course, we have our dance balls. And you can dance the night away down here with Cleopatra underwater. Now, interesting enough, two different ways to get into that. Obviously, breadcrumbs from the Mermaid Cove. Or right up here. Now, what is up here? Well, this is the inlet that ships would sail to get to our Egyptian palace build where, in fact, here they are. So they would come in from the sea, have numbers, and go to the appropriate island and dock. Offload their goods, barter, get paid, and go back out all over the Mediterranean. So it seemed fitting that these two might be connected in some way. And gee, if I drop something, oh my gosh, like what is this down here? And whilst I'm in this canal, I'm not quite done, but close. You know, shallower water, a lot less stuff going on down in here. So I still have yet to put a few fish here or there. But... You can see that I've got this started. And any time you have these shallow water canals like this, and fish would tend to spend some time here for sure. But in the deeper or more populated areas, like here, 
kind of a crossroads area you would get more fish and now I'm starting to put again breadcrumbs of fallen cargo and if we come up the side here you'll see exactly where we're at right across from the main palace so these are these little canals that were found about Egypt being a merchant mega facility in the Mediterranean at its time. All right, I'm Pietrovich Pap, and I will see you in Second Life. <laughs>